We just finished up at the townhomes here by TriPoint. These are the floor plans that people are looking for. Can't believe one of these was under 400,000. We've got the whole tour coming up right now. What's up guys, we are here in Highview, the new townhome community being built by TriPoint Homes. Today we're taking a look at four model homes. They all really have unique styles, themes, and different set of utility for different needs. So let's go inside and take a look. All right guys, so we're here inside of floor plan number two. This has a starting price of 422,000. It is 1,822 square feet. So this floor plan really just allows itself to have a, a very open feel. You've got the living room and then centered by the kitchen, offset with the dining room area. It's a really great space to enjoy. This floor plan too has this space right here where they have it set up with a dry bar, some uh, additional cabinetry underneath. This is a really nice upgrade that you can do. One of the other really nice standouts from this model home, love the, the countertops. This quartz um, ha has a look to it that's very modern. Uh, you got the, the white, but little hints of, of accent in there, kind of like a, a Calcutta stone. Typically when you're buying a brand new home, you're not gonna have the backyard that's finished with these townhomes here by TriPoint. They are gonna have backyard patio and rocks already put in for you so you can purchase your brand new home and you have the back living space already finished up and ready to move into. Really great about the floor plan too as well is you have some additional yard space in the back so you can access your backyard from the side of the property as well as from the dining room area. Um, the floor plan too is always gonna be on the end of, of the unit so uh, it's always gonna have that additional yard space. Let's go on upstairs and see how the bedroom areas are looking. As we head over to the secondary bedrooms, you're gonna see one's set up as an office, which is, you know, happening so much more where we're utilizing spaces in the house to be working from home. So this one's got this really large desk set up. Looks like they've got the shelving in the back set up so they could uh, look nice when they're doing their Zoom calls. The next secondary bedroom has a little bit more space. You can see we have uh, enough room here for the bedroom set, as well as seating area. We've got a nice plant in the corner. So there's a little bit more length to this room. And then on top of it, it's got uh, a nice small walk-in closet as well. Across the hall, we have the secondary bathroom. You'll notice that the countertops are matching throughout the home so far. The tripoint homes are really able to be upgraded very well. So you'll see in this laundry room, the upper cabinets that they've got. Those are features that you can add very customizable with TriPoint Homes as far as some of the upgrades you could do and really make the home your own. So coming up, we have floor plan 2X, which is gonna be a slightly different variation from this floor plan. And you'll wanna see kind of the subtle nuances that are different from the, the end unit into one of the interior units between the two and the 2X. So as we're heading into 2X, be sure to click in the description. You can get your home value there. There's a link to search the actual Las Vegas and Henderson MLS. And uh, here we go, model 2X. 1,758 square feet, so slightly smaller than the two. Starting price of 406,000. Let's take a look at the downstairs. So you'll notice in this kitchen we have a door to the pantry instead of the cabinetry pantry that we had in the floor plan too. And then off behind the dining room, the last one actually had a dry bar with cabinetry below. This one's gonna be an open space for you to utilize as you wish. I've noticed also that these tri-point homes are, are coming with an undermount sink standard. It's a really nice feature. Again, just kind of fits with that modern feel and vibe that these homes tend to have. Still a, a really nice sized yard space. Uh, plenty of room if you want to set up a grill. Obviously, they've got this set up with a nice seating area, especially for when you're dealing with a townhome, you're not typically gonna have too much of a yard to, to be working with, so it's a nice additional room. We've got uh, a really nice downstairs closet right adjacent to the stairway. Um, great for like a coat closet, but also it's got some depth so you can have some storage there as well. Yeah. 
As we go into this first bedroom, we were in the floor plan too, it was laid out as an office room. So this gives you kind of the feel of what it looks like as a bedroom. So this next secondary bedroom is where I'm actually seeing a good portion of size change. You'll remember in floor plan two, we actually had some additional length to this bedroom and a walk-in closet. So this one's gonna be shorter than the floor plan two without the walk-in closet. And, and that's probably where we're gonna see most of the size difference from floor plan two to floor plan two X. In the laundry room, you'll see the only difference is the floating shelves are missing on this one. They do still have the cabinetry above the washer and dryer. You'll also notice in here, this is where they have the media center so you can hook your modem up, have internet going throughout the house very easily and concealed with wires running through the inside of the walls. So we are here, floor plan one, 1,640 square feet, starting price of 391,000. It's gonna be featured as a two bedroom, but you could also do it as a three bedroom. So let's go take a look. Here in the entryway, you would have your garage entry to the home here, right next to our stairway upstairs. There's also a hallway here that features the guest half bathroom and downstairs closet. Floor plan one, it is the smallest of the four floor plans. Um, and, and so utilizing the space the best they can, it's really nice and open. One feature that I really like is this long island countertop functions as a nice eating space as well. So it's a space saver. Um, it's a nice way to have some additional seating in this open space as well as a secondary place to eat as well. So it's a nice feature. It's a functional feature. It really helps to you know, bring the room together. All right guys, so you're out there watching. I've got to ask you about this. I see these all the time. I don't have one in my house, but is this something functional that you guys have? Do you have like the ladder with the blankets? Is it like functional? Is it just for looks? You tell me, do you guys use, use something like this in your own home? So a lot of times, people that are interested in buying a townhome, they're not interested in having a whole bunch of upkeep and maintenance with the yard. So something small, but functional is perfect for them. This is, you know, not a huge space, but plenty of room for a grill, small seating area, small seating area, and boom, that's all you need. <laughs> so this one's all on tacos, right? And when you're in these model homes, a lot of times you'll find some really great recipe books. So what I like to do is just skim through and find a recipe I really like, and then I take a picture of it, and then I've got an awesome meal planned up for the, for the week, you know? Yeah, I went from uh, a scrub to a Michelin chef by the recipe books in model homes. That's the secret to my success in cooking. So one of the upgrades here, you'll notice that this railing and the banister, this whole stairway is gonna be an upgrade, different than the traditional pony wall that you'd have when you purchased the home. All right, so at the top of the stairs, we have a small landing. You can go either left or right. We're gonna start off to the left. We got a little loft over here. We talked about how this could be a three bedroom. This would technically be your third bedroom area if you wanted to go that route. Okay, so we are in the secondary suite and I really like how they set this up because when you come in, the space right here off to the side could easily just be one of those sliding closet doors, but they separate it with two doors. Gives you a space to utilize right here. And then when you open it, actually the bar goes all the way across for you to be able to hang clothes throughout this back wall. With this being set up for two bedrooms, it's gonna have its own ensuite bathroom as well. So let's head in there and take a look. Right behind us, you can see there's some open land. You got the view of the Las Vegas Strip, but what's gonna be going on right there is Station Casinos is building a resort that's gonna be the center of Inspirata, the Inspirata Town Center. Check out our video on it, but the proximity to that is fantastic. You'll be in walking distance to the shops and the dining and all the fun that's gonna be had at that resort. Yeah, I really love this accent wall. When you come into the primary suite, just like a nice statement piece, plenty of windows on the backside, so you got 
a lot of natural light coming in. Um, just a, a really a lot of wall space to be able to do things with, set up television if that's your thing. Um, we've, we've got a nice sitting area, it could be a reading space, but plenty of space to utilize. All right, so coming up, we're gonna go to floor plan number three. It's the largest floor plan. But before we do that, I want you to weigh in on this because I wanna find out what the viewers would prefer. So let's take a little poll. Right here behind us, we have the community pool and park area. It's a nice view, but I'd like to know what would be your preference. Would you rather have your house back up to the community pool, a neighborhood road, or have a rear neighbor? Let me know in the comments. This specific floor plan really gives you some options of how you'd like the, the layout to be. It's a really fun one uh, as far as layouts are concerned. I think those options really help you to have some control over what's the best way for this particular layout to be for you. On to floor plan three. So floor plan three, again, end unit. So it's got access to the backyard from the side. It's actually got a door on the side of the house for entry. So let's go and take a look. You know what we gotta do now, right? Check if there's any good cookbooks to look at. Classics of Italian cooking, pasta masterclass. Hey again, recipes from mountains to the sea. I think those are too high level difficulty for me. I need to stick to tacos. Secondary bedroom slash art room, office. They've actually got the wood look floors on here as well. I can just even hear it a little bit with the acoustics. This is basically what the standard laundry room would look like, minus the accent wall. I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera, but these are actually raised from the wall. The accent, the texture, just little things like that that stand out. So we got nice luxury linen closet is what I'm gonna call it. It's somewhat of a walk-in, definitely where you would put your, your linens at. Across from the linen closet, you have the primary closet. Nice, deep, plenty of room. So similar to Vela, which we just recently did a video on, this neighborhood also has some really great walking trails and some outdoor exercise equipment. As you're walking around the neighborhood, get your exercise on, really nice community feature. In the Highview community, you're not technically a part of the Inspirata master plan, but you do have your own neighborhood pool, so you don't have to use the Inspirata community pools. And of course, there's access to all of the Inspirata parks as well. Those are managed by City of Henderson. So all the amenities you could possibly need right here at Highview. As you can see, they're still building behind us. This is still the very early stages of them building out here at Highview. Um, if you were to start building right now, like these ones behind us, for example, um, just in the early stages of being built, and those should be finished up by year's end, right in like the November, December timeline. These have an HOA of 186 a month. Beautiful townhomes as we saw, but location is awesome as well. Check out our other video on the resort that's gonna be coming up in the town center area of Inspirata, being built by Station Casinos. We got a deep dive on that, but the proximity to that, it's gonna be right in the center. 
of all the action here in Inspirata. If you're interested in taking your own private tour of these townhomes, or you need a little more information, be sure to give me a call, 702-580-1071. Drop a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.